Going right, let's get some temperatures. If I aim the laser at that, there we go. 26, 27 degrees. On the rest of the enclosure, 24, 24, 22 degrees, 23, 21, it's on the back, 25. Oh look, 30 degrees. It's obviously where the heat's radiating down on the back wall there. I wonder what Loki's body temperature is at. So, have a look. Oh, there's no top. So Loki's body temperature at 24 degrees. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Right, just, just a little video today with um with little Loki here. I provided Loki with a, a hotspot, obviously in his terrarium. So it's a deep heat projector, 50 watt deep heat projector on the top, controlled via a digital thermostat, um, and it's set to 26 degrees Celsius. That warms up just a little spot where a, a wooden branch, a, a cork branch, goes underneath it. So it provides Loki with a little hot spot if he chooses to use it. And um, quite often, we catch him sat on the branch underneath his hotspot, underneath that deep heat projector, warming up before a, a, a night time of feeding. So uh, yeah, check out this little clip and then you'll see what I mean. Geckos will use a hotspot. Room temperature, particularly in the UK, I don't believe is warm enough. If you think about where they come from, they're always going to be in the canopy, they're always going to be underneath foliage, they're not going to be getting direct sunlight. Um, but a warm area, up to about 26 degrees, they will use. Uh, and Loki uses it very regularly in the evenings to warm up prior to feeding. So there we have it. As always guys, thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.